Hi, my name's Nick Penhouse smith author and marketeer at Effectory International. I'm here today to talk to you about employee engagement and specifically how does Europe compare globally. Here at Effectory International we see employee engagement slightly differently. We see that those employees who are both engaged and committed are the gems of your organisation. These are the employees that will help drive your organization forward. Secondly, we have those employees who are engaged in their work. These are employees who are simply engaged in their work. They love their work. Number three, we have those engage, uh, employees who are committed and they are committed to their organization. Finally, we have those employees who are not engaged or committed. As HR professionals, CEOs and directors, these are the employees that will most undoubtedly give you the most cause for concern. So, how does Europe compare globally? Well, firstly, let's look at the percentage of employees that are both engaged and committed in Europe. The percentage sits at 28.9%, which when we compare it to the global average, is slightly below. When we look at the top percentage of those employees that are engaged and committed in the world, in North and South America, they sit at above 40%. So there's a significant difference between those at above 40% and Europe at slightly below 30%. Secondly, looking at the percentage of employees that are engaged in Europe. Again, compared to the global average, it sits slightly below. The global average sits at 3.2%, whereas Europe sits at 3.1%. Comparatively, Europe fares slightly better, as the percentage of uh, employees that are engaged in Europe is higher than North America, Asia and Oceania. Finally, the percentage of employees that are not engaged or committed. And this is where there is perhaps most cause for concern. In comparison to the global average, there is a high percentage of employees that are not engaged or committed in Europe. Global average sits at 27.9%, whereas Europe sits at 28.1%. And most worryingly, there's only a high percentage of employees that are not engaged and committed in Asia, at around 36%. And when we look at the lowest percentage found in South America, around 19%, there's a 9% difference which is certainly significant. So what can we conclude from this? Well, we see that in general, Europe sits slightly below the global average. But what we can deduce from this is there's certainly work to be done. Thank you.